Testing, one, two. This is a pot. <laughs> Testing, one, two. This is Mark Word. Hi. Hello. This is Mark Word in for Jonathan Beaver. <laughs> uh, today I'll be cooking spaghetti. I'm going to make some spaghetti. Ground turkey. <laughs> Boy, it's on sale. <laughs> Today I'm making a big pot of spaghetti. So I'm going to use about a pound and a half. Anytime you've been handling raw meat, you should always wash your hands. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> it up a little bit here on the hot stove. <laughs> this is my snack. <laughs> um, I got a pepper and some onions that I'm going to put in here with it, together with it. No good. Look at that. That's mold. Don't make that. Another one. Blech. There's my pepper right here. <laughs> so, so. so you're for dicing an onion. Slide that into the little pot. Okay, now. Look at the size of this pepper. Oh, oh, yeah. Pretty boring. Boring stuff is cooking. But it's important to know how to cook as a man. <laughs> as a Christian man, one should know how to cook for themselves and cook for their wives. <laughs> slicing these peppers long ways, don't cut your fingers off. <laughs> Nobody likes fingers in their food. <laughs> oh dear. Drop a little piece. You drop a little piece on the floor, put it in the trash pile. <laughs> That's just gross. <laughs> this will be ready to watch. <laughs> to do in this case I'm gonna put just a little bit of water in it <laughs> to help it not stick so much <laughs> down a little so it won't burn down there <laughs> you could even put a little olive oil in but I can do that it adds a nice little flavor and it's very healthy <laughs> I'm using brand olive oil Probably like a tablespoon. Scrape all this gook off the bottom here. Let it just all get cooked in. The vegetables don't have to be cooked thoroughly here. We're looking at the meat. We want the meat to be thoroughly cooked before we do anything else. I had this thing sticking out of his stomach grossest thing I ever saw. So I was like, ew, what is that? That is disgusting. Now, while that's cooking and simmering at six heat, um, I'm going to wash my cutting board and knife really fast gives me something to do while I'm waiting for this to cook and then I'll be almost ready for the next thing to do. <laughs> okay, this should be just about ready. Let's see. Let's see. You can tell if 
meats like beef and chicken and turkey, if they're thoroughly cooked, they're brown. <laughs> they're gray. If there's any pink, they still got a little ways to go. <laughs> this is crumbling nicely. <laughs> I don't see any more residue on the bottom of the pan. <laughs> The onions are becoming translucent. <laughs> what little bit of fat was in here has cooked out. <laughs> and now I'm going to drain it. Drain it. Pouring the fat and water and whatever juices are in there into a aluminum can. <laughs> Put over by the sink. There's a spoon in the food. Um, it won't get all over the stove or on the floor. <laughs> but I try not to put grease down the drain because of the septic system. They tell me grease isn't good for the plumbing for some reason. So, um, just gonna put the lid on here and use it as a little dam and then just the water can get out. But it's not water, it's fat. <laughs> and water. <laughs> okay, looks good. And, um, next thing that I like to do is put in a can of diced tomatoes. <laughs> It's the cheapest. So I'll dump this in. <laughs> oh dear, it didn't open all the way. There we go. <laughs> Got it out. Oh, that's beautiful. Look at that. I'm going to use this can again in a minute. That's called recycling. I'm just going to set it here. Put the lid in the trash. <laughs> Next. I've got two cans, these little cans of mushrooms. They didn't have any big cans of mushrooms. <laughs> There's the other mushrooms. Now, as you may or may not have noticed, a lot of the commercial sauces are filled with fat <laughs> and sugar and salt and <laughs> They just don't taste as good as my homemade sauce. And it turns out that it was more delicious and healthier. And that's really what it's about, is the children. So anyway, I don't know if you noticed, I cut the top and the bottom lids. <laughs> and what happens is, what happened was, <laughs> if you do it right, and the lid comes off, which this one is being very, very bad. <laughs> you can slide the whole can of paste out. Slip, slide, plop. But when you cut the lids off, man, it's so much easier. <laughs> so much that I almost wanted to cry. But my wife wanted me to make a double batch so that she could take some for all the ladies at work tomorrow. <laughs> and I said, that's fine. It's really, what's life about if it's not about giving? <laughs> come back for you. <laughs> we made a bit of a mess here. So that I don't have to clean after I work. <laughs> and I can just go watch TV. It's off. I don't understand why the recycling people don't want the lids on the cans. They're made of the same material as the cans. They would be just as valuable to recycle, but the lids are <laughs> in the trash. And the cans in the other trash for the recycling. And by other trash, I mean they have a dump where the recycling material goes 
to be stored until someone decides that it's economically feasible to actually use it for recycling. Until then, it piles up in a different dump. <laughs> anyway, I have a homemade mixture of Italian seasonings. It's no different than the mixture that you can buy already mixed. It has basil. I think it's like one part basil, two parts parsley, and two parts oregano. I make my own mix because, and I, I recycle the jar that the first season came in, but it's maybe four or five cents cheaper to buy the spices separately and mix them yourself. And I dump a very generous portion of this on there. <laughs> that's what's really going to give you your spaghetti sauce flavor. <laughs> that and garlic powder. <laughs> For me, and this is my personal taste, I like the flavor of the garlic powder. Whatever. <laughs> but you really don't need a lot of salt. <laughs> because the tomato paste needs salt to make it a little less bitter. <laughs> um, it sort of mellows the tomato paste. <laughs> and it makes it into tomato sauce. Tomato sauce is tomato paste with water and salt. Regular like just regular white salt, that would be fine too. <laughs> just don't want to use a whole lot. And then I put some pepper. Now you need to be careful with the pepper. <laughs> too little and your sauce is bland too much and it tastes like pepper. <laughs> and the last thing we need to do just Patrick. <laughs> is add water. And this is a matter of taste as well. <laughs> and a matter of the size of your pot. <laughs> you can add more water and make it a thinner sauce or less water and make it a thicker sauce. <laughs> but once you've done it, it can't be undone. <laughs> I'm just kidding, you can't undo it. If you add too much water and you have the time, you can leave it simmer for a couple hours and that water will evaporate off. So you can thicken up your sauce if you've got it too thin. <laughs> Occasionally, I'll replace some or all of the water, usually some of the water, with a white wine. <laughs> Something sweet is always delicious in here. Um, a Riesling, a Chardonnay, <laughs> or even a Liebfrau Milch. The other benefit of using the can as a measuring device, now you recycled. And you cleaned out the inside of the can. <laughs> so it's ready to recycle. <laughs> This is going to sit on the stove and simmer until the ladies get here. <laughs> and by ladies, I mean my wife and my daughter and her husband, who's not a lady. <laughs> Delicious. Uh, let's see. Mmm, yummers. Ha <laughs>